Justin Warner here for Eat the Universe, and today we're gonna make a Ghost Rider inspired flamin' fondue. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Ghost Rider. You can put them on a motorcycle, you can put them in a car, you can put them in space, and Ghost Rider still rules. The same can be said for fondue. Fondue is essentially a fancy dippy cheese. So if you're familiar with, say, nacho cheese, you press the button and it goes out on your hot dog or tortilla chips, that's kind of like fondue and it follows the same scientific principles. It is an emulsion, which is where you use something, in our case today, cornstarch, to make two things that wouldn't normally mix, mix together. Kind of like Ghost Rider in space. This is garlic. I'm gonna rub the garlic all over the inside of this pot. And then just kind of perfuming the pot a little bit. You don't need to have huge chunks of garlic or a ton of garlic flavor. Uh, to me, I want the cheese to shine, but I also just wanna enhance it a little bit, aromatically speaking. What do you think Ghost Rider smells like? Do you think he ever cooks like on top of his head? <laughs> now that we've prepared the pot, we're gonna make a slurry of cornstarch and cheap white wine. Because we're cooking the wine, it doesn't have to be expensive. This step is preparing the cornstarch for dispersion into our cheese mixture. So oftentimes when you see fondue, it's served with a, a fondue set that comes with these cutesy little forks. And generally, the pot itself is designed to sit over a flame. Kind of like the hellfire that burns the soul but not the body. No one likes cold fondue. All right, our wine's come to a simmer, so now I'm gonna add our wine and cornstarch slurry. Could you imagine if I had Ghost Rider's flame, like how helpful that would be in the kitchen? If only there was a way I could get a chicken to rotate around me like a rotisserie. Today for our fondue, we're using Gruyere. That's kind of like the OG Swiss cheese. And I'm stirring kind of in a random pattern because sometimes fondue can seize up as the cheese melts and turns into a giant cheese ball. Is that a hero? Cheese wad. Sounds more like a villain. This is coming along nicely. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's all in the vessel. I've got some salt in my pot here. All right, now for the finishing touch and certainly the finale, Hellfire in the form of uh, Kirschwasser, kind of like a cherry brandy, really. And this is not something you should ever, ever do at home. Once the Kirschwasser starts bubbling, it's safe to say that you can ignite it. Just like so. Ghost Rider fondue. It's always good to have a fire extinguisher handy. You think Ghost Rider's worst nemesis is just like the lid of a pot and a skilled cook? I have some classic fondue accoutrement, some apples that we've uh, doused with a little lemon juice so they don't brown, some bread chunks, and some beautiful potatoes. If you think it might be good with cheese, chances are it's a great team up for fondue. Let's give it a dunk. Oh yeah. sell my soul for this any day. Well, that's all the mortal time we've got here on Eat the Universe. We'll see you next week. Oh.